iOS 11 is finally out for everyone to download. Here's what's new. So this is a rather big release with a lot of big and little changes. And first off is the new lock screen. Now the lock screen and notification center are combined into one. When you lift your phone, you'll see your recent notifications and you can interact with them. And you can access your widgets on the left and the camera on the right. This isn't too different than before, but now when the phone is unlocked and you're using it, if you swipe down from the top to access the notification center, you'll be presented with the same page as the lock screen. So now they work in the same way. Another big change is the control center. If you swipe up from the bottom, you will see many different options on one page. And these different panels can reveal even more options with a 3D touch or a long hold. Plus, for the first time, it is customizable. So in settings, under control center, there are many more options to choose from and you can arrange in which order they appear. So overall, it can be much more personal than before and you can choose the options that you actually use. Now, on the home screen, you'll notice updated app icons and other icon tweaks like signal bars instead of dots, and the animations for opening and closing apps has changed, a bunch of little tweaks. And some apps have been updated. The App Store has gotten a complete redesign with a new Today section that features new apps, app updates, app of the day, and more all in this one section. And you also have a dedicated section for games and a separate section for all the other apps. In Messages, there is a new interface for the app drawer that is easier to use and Apple Pay Peer-to-Peer -peer will let you send money to friends and family. The Photos app has an updated memory section with better curation for categories like pets and you can now edit live photos to choose the key image and add effects like creating a loop or long exposure. And in the Maps app, there are now indoor maps for some malls and airports to help make getting around easier and there is lane guidance in navigation. Now, there are more smaller changes, but for the rest of the major changes, we have to look towards the iPad. iOS 11 on the iPad brings major changes, most notably the dock. This is an updated version of the dock from iOS 10, but lets you do much more. You can store more apps here, and you can see recently used and suggested apps on the right. Plus, the dock is now accessible from anywhere, so when you're in an app, you can swipe up from the bottom and see the dock, and you can either choose a new app, or you can drag an app into a split view or a slide over multitasking session. Also, if you swipe up from the bottom and continue swiping, or double tap the home button, you'll be brought to the new app switcher that also shows the dock and the control center. Control center works in the same way as on the iPhone, but the new app switcher shows you more apps than before, and multitasking sessions are saved when you switch between apps. Another major feature is drag and drop. Now you can drag photos, links, text, and files, and drop them into different places like between apps. And you can drag multiple items at once by dragging and selecting different items. This drag and drop feature is especially useful when using the new Files app. This is also available on the iPhone, but think of it as an updated and more powerful iCloud Drive app. Here you can store files, you can access them from different apps, also, you can access third-party services like Dropbox within the Files app itself. So it makes it like a central hub where you keep everything on your iPad or iPhone. Now, Apple Pencil functionality has also been updated with new markup capabilities that allow you to annotate pretty much anything. So for instance, if you use a screenshot, you can use instant markup and send it off. There's also inline drawing that allows you to draw in between text, as well as a new feature called Instant Notes that lets you tap the lock screen with the Apple Pencil and instantly start writing without unlocking. And speaking of notes, the Notes app has been updated with a new document scanner, and it now has handwriting recognition that allows you to search for what you write, and this is also available on the iPhone. Now, like mentioned, iOS 11 is a large update, so we didn't cover everything here, but once you update, be sure to check out all the features we covered, as well as check out the link down below in the description for a full roundup of everything that's new. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.